that. I've had many people ask me how we decided to go to Norway or why we decided to go to Norway this year. And I just want to take a second to look at some of the kind of main reasons. There's a thousand different reasons or factors that we're looking at, but at the end of the day, there's a few that stand out to me as the, the real driving forces behind making the decision to go to Norway and race in the Finnmark Slopa. First of all is, as a coach, you want to set your team up for success. You want to look at your team critically and assess what are their strengths, what are their weaknesses, how do I put them in a field where we can really magnify their strengths and put them in a situation where it's going to rely on their strong suit and not put them in a situation that's going to draw out their weaknesses. I feel like this team is well suited to race the Finnmark Slopa. It's a very mature team. It's a tough team. And I think they're going to do really, really well over there. So that was a major factor. The next big factor is when I look back at a career of mushing, whether that's 20 years or 40 years or 60 years, I want to look back at some different experiences. Not just, okay, we figured out how to race the Iditarod, we had success in the Iditarod, and we just did the same thing over and over and over again. No, I want to look back and see that we went outside of our comfort zone. We went to races and events and things that we weren't the best at, that we weren't good at. And that's what's going to force us to get better, is going into a realm where we're you know, facing our weak side. So as, a, as an athlete trying to develop, we want to go to places that are going to force us to learn, and that's the Finnmark for me. The Finnmark is a puzzle I haven't figured out yet. I know how to put the Iditarod together to have a good run. No, you're not always going to win it, but you're going to have a good run. That's a little bit of an unknown in the Finnmark, so that's the puzzle we haven't finished yet. I want to go back and do that one again. The next thing is when you go into a race, an ultra long distance sled dog race, you have got to be excited about it. So when I'm looking at the Iditarod, a race I've done several times, I think 11 times now, or the Finnmark, I get really excited about the Finnmark. This is something that I am stoked to go back there with, especially looking at how this team fits that race. I'm really excited about it. And that excitement has to be there. You can't go do a thousand mile race or any ultra long distance race just because you should or you feel obligated to. You've got to be stoked. These dogs know what you're feeling and they're going to kind of mirror that emotion. So if I'm excited to go there, they're going to be excited. And that's the only fair way to do it for your team, both canine and human team and our fans and our followers and supporters. You know, we've got to do what we, got to, what we love to do. And for me, this year, that's the Finnmark. I'll be back to the Iditarod. That's still going to be the race that starts 30 miles from my house. I'll do that one a few more times, I suspect. But for this year, I am very excited about racing in Norway. I think I have a team that can do very, very well in Norway. And it's a puzzle we haven't yet figured out. So those were some of the main factors in making our decision to go to Norway and race the Finnmark Slope of this year.